Hi, I'm Karina and welcome back to my tiny house adventures. Um, I Today I'm talking about insulation and walls. So obviously all of this house has been insulated already and I've put the walls up. But I have this small section of wall right here so I thought I'd just give you a demo and explain the type of insulation I used and why I used it. Um, and just a really brief uh, summary about uh, wall structure. So this is a tiny house so I didn't have to build it to code um, and I didn't in a lot of respects. But I did follow sort of your general guidelines of how to build walls because I had some knowledge on that and since when you go to a lumber or hardware store basically everything is sold in those specifications. Um, you know sheets of plywood and everything are 48 inches wide and um, I'm working with the studs. This is a stud which is just sort of one of your pieces of your wall and they're usually spaced 16 inches on center um, which means that they are about 14 and a quarter um, or so of space in between um, but from the center of one stud to the center of the other is 16 inches. So that way, if you're doing that, buying everything that you need from a hardware store is going to be a lot easier. You don't have to make all these special cuts. And it's built to code, so there's a reason why this has been made this way. Um, so a basic wall sort of structure is you have, these are called your studs and they go along and then you have your bottom piece, your bottom plate, and your top plate. So that's the structure that I built this whole house. Then around windows and around doors you have to do a lot more um, stability and pieces of um, 2 by 4s in order to distribute all that weight that's coming down from the roof and um, the absence of those studs where the windows are. That's a whole nother subject. There's a lot of really great um, videos out there that you can watch. I'm just sort of giving a tutorial right now because this is a little bit different than some places. So I'm doing the regular 16 inches on center. This is an interior wall so I'm using 2x3s instead of 2x4s. There's several reasons for that. Um, one being cutting any sort of amount of weight you know, and space. I don't have to have a 2x4 inside. I also don't have to insulate these walls as well. But I wanted to do that because the bedroom is here and the bathroom is on the other side of this wall and the kitchen is on the other side of this wall. And I'll have a sliding door here. But I wanted to have some sort of sound barrier, especially with the bathroom, if someone's relaxing in the bedroom and someone's taking a shower or whatnot in the bedroom, I mean the bathroom, it's a, it's a, a lot nicer that you kind of have these sort of separate sections. So that's why I'm insulating right here. The insulation I'm using is denim insulation and um, it's an eco-friendly alternative for the re regular pink fiberglass stuff that's pretty sort of toxic, it's, you have to wear a mask and gloves and it's itchy and you don't want to get in your lungs. But denim insulation is really great because you can just touch it, you can um, install without wearing a mask but for safety reasons I would, sometimes you can, just from the dust, you can kind of get an itchy throat but it's not dangerous at all. And it's all made from recycled denim that comes from factories as well as some stores do denim recycling programs. Uh, I know the company Madewell does that. You can take your old jeans there and they give you percentage back whatever to shop there once you do that and then um, it's made into this stuff. So number one that's awesome. Want to use recycled materials as much as possible and it's not that expensive comparatively and since I'm using such a small space the amount of money that I'm paying extra is pretty negligible because if I was making a much bigger house it might be different but that's the sort of the nice thing about doing tiny houses and using a little bit higher quality materials or recycled materials it's not going to be that much more expensive so it ends up being pretty affordable then you can research your R values so for your roof you're going to need a higher R value than your walls um, so R13 can be used for walls 
I believe I used R19 or R21 for the ceiling. It needs to be thicker. The ceiling has um, two by sixes, so there's more space for the insulation because heat rises. So for installing your insulation, it's really quite simple and it's nice because these fit really snugly in there. A really great tool that I, someone pointed out to me that you use when you do installation is these insta um, insulation supports. Basically, it's just a piece of metal wire that's a little bit wider than this gap. So that, and you can just get a pack like 100 pieces. It costs 10, 14 dollars or something like that for the pack. The denim insulation, um, when I started building, when I've done some other construction, they didn't have it at Lowe's. Um, but now I believe they might. I got this from a local. Um, company here that sells eco-friendly pro um, building products but I think that it should be available at Home Depot I've seen it anyway so you take your insulation your denim insulation this is nice some of them have perforated edges for those like little weird spots and you just kind of squish it in here and it feels nice um, I've also with extra material I've made a dog bed you can make, I'm planning on making pillows, you can make little roll up um, mattresses and stuff because it's just, you know, denim cotton material. It stays nicely in there, but what you don't want is this to slide in the wall, especially if you're moving. Um, it might have a tendency to go down and then all your insulation will get squished and it won't be doing what you need. Um, and so, you just take these little supports and as you can see they're a little bit wider and safety first wear goggles I'm not um, do as I say not as I do because these can pop out and poke you in the eye and you don't want that um, so you just kind of push this in into these corners and it stays you kind of push it and it gets stuck in the wood and you can do them you know from 12 inches apart or however you feel like you need and then you just work your way all the way down and then go to the next section. What's really nice about denim insulation is you can cut it, but I have had a hard time cutting with an X-Acto knife or regular scissors. It's just really thick. I just rip it. It kind of creates dust when you do, but you can just rip it when you need to like this and pieces will come off. I have this extra bag right here and these come in really handy as you're building because you might have little sections where maybe you're trying to move around some tubing or something like that and this is going to be really great you can just sort of you know stuff around and use as needed um yeah that's all my information about the insulations if you have any questions please comment below and i'll get back to you and answer as best that i can see you next time